Welcome back everyone, I'm Dave and this is the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a Raptor versus T-Rex collection. And I've got a ton more T-Rexes and Raptors over here, plus some new ones that we'll be opening up shortly. But first, let's check out these super colossal figures. This is Velociraptor Blue in this super colossal form. It's got the iconic blue stripe and the classic Raptor teeth. Right next to that is an Atrociraptor figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's colored white and it has some brown striping on its body and some very similar teeth. And the last super colossal raptor is this new Endoraptor figure and it is one of my favorites for sure. Like Velociraptor Blue, it has a stripe down its side but it is a gold stripe and I really love how different its teeth are compared to the other raptors. Moving over to the T-Rex side, this is the super colossal T-Rex from Jurassic World Dominion. It has the brown colored body and totally different teeth compared to the raptors. Right next to that is a custom colored T-Rex that I've had for a really long time. It is a light blue gray color. It has some dark red eyes and some sharper teeth, I think compared to the Dominion T-Rex. And finally, there is another custom colored T-Rex here. This one is the Fire T-Rex. It's got red, yellow, and black all over its body. Its eyes actually do not have any pupils. And overall, it's just a really cool looking dinosaur. And now let's check out these new sets that I got. This first one is the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Tyrannosaurus Ambush Pack. Here is the Jeep that comes in this set. It is a camo Jeep. It's got the barricaded windows. And at the top is Dr. Ian Malcolm. But even better than that is this new T-Rex with new painting. I don't have another T-Rex with this color design on it. Looks to be mostly a dark green color. It has some gray and yellow accenting on the top of its back. And of course, it has the button at the top of its head for chomping and roaring. Now let's check out the new Dino Trackers Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. And here it is, an entirely new T-Rex figure in my collection. Once again, this one has totally new coloring. It's got some brown striping with an almost yellow color along the top. And it has this headpiece that you can fit it onto its face. And now it's kind of like an eyepiece or something like that. And this figure actually has a new attack button on its back. Let's check it out. So it's like a sideways chomping action with sound effects. That's pretty cool. Now let's get these new T-Rex figures set up on the T-Rex side. And now let's move on to our next figures. So next we're gonna grab a raptor. Why don't we go with the largest one here? This is a Pyroraptor figure. And this one's pretty special because it actually is battery powered and you can actually play with it and it walks around and stuff. So let me turn on the power and let's see it. You can tap it on the head here and it'll respond to you or underneath the chin as well. That's a pretty cool and pretty unique figure. We're gonna set it over here on the raptor side. Now it's back to the T-Rexes. Let's check out this epic roaring T-Rex from Camp Cretaceous. This figure is a little bit larger than the other T-Rexes that I've shown so far. And it has an attack button on its tail for roaring and chopping and moving the head around. And let's get this T-Rex on the T-Rex side right there. Back to the Raptors, let's go with this awesome Endoraptor figure. As you can tell, this figure is way smaller than the super colossal Endoraptor figure, but I'm still a pretty big fan of it. It's got this cool blue reflective coloring over its entire body. So let's go ahead and set it up underneath the super colossal raptors. Next up for the T-Rexes, I've got the new 93 Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. This figure was released as part of the 30th anniversary for Jurassic Park and looks very similar to the vintage one that they released all those years ago. It's even got the real feel skin texture too. Now let's set it up to face off against the raptors on the T-Rex side. Let's see, what raptor should we go with next? Why don't we go with this Velociraptor blue figure? This is another pretty unique Velociraptor figure. You can see that it's built quite a bit differently and it has these really cool movements. 
First, it has a snapping action with sound effects. You can move its tail around, you can move its legs, and really make it look super lifelike. It's really cool. And so let's set this over on the raptor side, right underneath the super colossal Indoraptor. For the T-Rexes, I've got a classic brown T-Rex figure. This figure features a fully posable body and the button at the top of its head for snapping its jaw open and closed. And so let's set this over here, right underneath this Dominion super colossal figure. Next, let's grab this Mega Raptor figure. This figure was released for Jurassic World Dominion. It features some really cool red and dark blue coloring. It has a ton of cool spikes on its back and a chomping action. And let's set it up right over here, right in front of the little Indoraptor. Next, let's go with a huge Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. This is the Stomp and Escape T-Rex. And I think this figure is a little bit larger than almost all of these other T-Rex figures. It has a much larger torso, and it actually has a button on its back used for a huge roaring and chomping action. All right, now let's see if we get this T-Rex lined up on the T-Rex side. Looks like he's standing a little closer to the raptors. For the raptors, let's grab this Amber Collection Velociraptor figure. These Amber Collection figures are really cool because of their unique coloring and because of how poseable they are. You can move practically every limb in this raptor as it would in real life. And now we're gonna set this right back here for the raptor side. And back for the T-Rexes, let's grab this fiery red T-Rex. This T-Rex also has the yellow, black, and red coloring, very similar to the super colossal figure right here, but it's a bit more reflective and shiny overall. And it features a fully poseable body and the button at the top of its head for chomping. And we're gonna set this one right next to the other fire T-Rex right above it. Now let's grab this other Velociraptor blue figure. Looks like we have three Velociraptor blues in this collection so far. We first had the super colossal version, then we had this little one over here, and now here is, I believe, the smallest version in this collection. Now this figure is a basic version, so it's a bit cheaper than many of these other figures, but it doesn't have an attack button. You can only move its tail, its legs, and its arm. But overall, still pretty cool. And now let's set this in line over on the raptor side here. This next T-Rex here is another Legacy Collection T-Rex, I believe. So here is the older Legacy Collection, and here is the newer version that we just opened up at the beginning of the video. And this version too has some dark green coloring, although it just has some black striping on the top of its body, but it still has the button on its head for chomping and roaring. Now, why don't we go ahead and set it up right in front of the other Legacy Collection T-Rex. So we got the two green T-Rexes right next to each other. Here's another basic figure for the raptor side. This is a Pyroraptor from Jurassic World Dominion. Now, it's pretty similar in shape and size to the Velociraptor blue figure that we saw earlier from the basic series, but it has some pretty cool feather texturing on its arms, on its body, and on the top of its head too. So let's go ahead and set this up right next to the Velociraptor blue figure. Here is the Terran T-Rex figure. This one is a massive Tyrannosaurus Rex. It still has the classic brown coloring on its body, but it has two big action buttons on its back. The first operates the huge Terran action. Check that out, it twists its whole neck and chomps its jaw shut. And the second button swings the tail back and forth. Probably knock out some raptors with that swing. All right, let's see if we've got more space for this Terran T-Rex. It's getting pretty cramped over here on the T-Rex side. This next raptor is a quite old Velociraptor figure from the first Jurassic World movie. This figure was actually made by Hasbro instead of Mattel, who made many of these newer figures over here. And you know, overall, it's a pretty basic figure. You can only move the legs and the arms a little bit, but sadly, there's no chomping or attack action. But nonetheless, we'll still set it up right over here on the raptor side. Here we've got a battle damage T-Rex figure. This T-Rex comes in the orange brown coloring and you can see that it has battle damage painted all over its body and even some on its face. Plus it has the button for chomping and roaring at the top of its head. Uh, let's see, oh boy, where are we gonna fit this T-Rex? 
And then we can put them right up front, right here. For the Velociraptor side, we're gonna go with this basic Atrociraptor figure. This figure is much like the other basic figures that we saw in that you can move its tail, its legs, and its arms, but it doesn't have any actions. But it's still a pretty cool piece. I love the bright red eyes, and it has similar painting to the super colossal Atrociraptor that I've got right up there. And we'll go ahead and put this Atrociraptor right next to the other basic raptor figures. Now here is another super old Jurassic World figure, I believe from the first movie once again, which means that this figure I believe was made by Hasbro instead of Mattel, and this whole T-Rex was actually custom colored as well. So let's put this little T-Rex right in here. I think we've got a little space back here. There we go. And here are all the final figures for this collection. So I'm just gonna bring them all over here in a pile. Let's first get this Amber Collection Velociraptor set up. It has some really cool teal coloring with spots all over. And just like all the other Amber Collection, is super poseable. And let's place it down right here at the edge of the line. Let's set up a few more Raptors over here while we're at it. Here is a smaller gray and yellow Velociraptor. It's very small, so there's no action button, but it's still pretty poseable. And we're gonna place this right over here. Next is this red and green Velociraptor, and it has spring-loaded legs, so you can actually press down and send it flying into the air. And we'll set that one up right here. Now I've got two more Velociraptors right here. This one is the newer one. I believe it's part of the Dino Tracker series, and it actually does have an attack button for moving its head up and down. And we're gonna set this one back here. And then this Velociraptor is a more clay red or kind of a brown color, and it is a battle damage edition Atrociraptor. So you can see a button right there and the battle damage on its side you can click on and off. And we're gonna set this raptor up right over here on the edge of the line. But let's not forget our last and smallest T-Rex of the collection. This is the Sound Surge T-Rex, and it has the classic brown coloring all over its body with some gray detailing on the top of its head. And of course, the sound effects that you can turn on with the button. And so finally, let's place this on the T-Rex side right in front of the Velociraptors. And that is the full collection. Which side do you think would win in a battle? The Raptors or the T-Rexes? Let me know in the comments below. Today on Amazing Dinosaurs, we are checking out a T-Rex versus Raptor collection, and we're gonna set them up to face off against each other on the table. Let's get started with our first T-Rex. This is the classic Camp Cretaceous T-Rex, and is one of my favorites because of how realistic it looks when you move it. Next, let's grab our first Raptor. Let's go with this huge Dino Trackers Endoraptor. This is actually one of the newest and most recent Endoraptor figures that Mattel has released. And there are the first two facing off. Let's get some more. Next up, let's go with the classic Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex figure. This figure is a whole lot darker than the Camp Cretaceous version, and it might actually be a little bit bigger. For our next Raptor, why don't we go with this big one right here? I believe that this is Velociraptor Blue, and it actually has some pretty cool action features. You can press down on its body. For a chomping action, and you can swivel it side to side as if it's walking. All right, let's set that up right in front of the huge Endoraptor. For our next T-Rex, let's go with the huge Stomp and Escape T-Rex. I think this might actually be from Camp Cretaceous as well. And it's got some pretty cool attack buttons. There's a button on its back for the roaring action. Plus, you can twist the tail for stomp sound effects. Let's see, we've got another big raptor in here. Let's go with this next Endoraptor. This is actually a pretty old figure. This is the Grab and Growl Endoraptor. And it's called that because it has a few features. First, you can use this button to move its arms. There's also a button on the bottom of its tail to chomp the jaw. And you can even use the tail to move the head around too. All right, let's put this one pretty close to the other Endoraptor figure. 
There, he'll be holding on to this little guy. Back to the T-Rexes. Let's grab this guy and see it is a battle damage T-Rex. Check that out right there on the side with the click of a button. You can reveal the battle damage. Plus, the rest of the body is poseable as well. Now let's set this one down right next to the Camp Cretaceous T-Rex. There they are facing off with the raptors. For our next raptor, we're gonna grab this one at the bottom. This is a Utah raptor from Jurassic Park. So this figure is pretty old and actually has a rubber skin texture as opposed to the hard plastic of all the rest of these. And you can even move the claws on its feet up and down. Let's set this one up right next to the grab and growl endoraptor. <laughs> On to our next T-Rex, we've got a few more huge ones in here. This one, I believe, is from Fallen Kingdom. And this one features a pretty cool chomping action when you move its tail. Check that out just by moving its tail down. And when you move its tail the other way, it actually has a roaring action. Let's see now, let's put this T-Rex right next to the Stomp and Escape. Back to the raptors, let's grab this little one. This is our first Atrociraptor of this collection. And this is actually a Rowdy Roars Atrociraptor. It is actually battery operated and you can get it to walk around. Plus it has some chomping and roaring sound effects. We're gonna set this one up towards the front because it is a bit shorter than the rest of them. Our next T-Rex is a battle damage T-Rex. You can see that it has some battle damage slashes on its chin and on its neck and on other parts of its body too. So it is a battle damage T-Rex like this one, but this one you can turn on and off and this one is just painted on its body. And so we're gonna put it right next to the other battle damage T-Rex. <laughs> Looks like we've got a few more Endoraptor figures in this collection. This one is from Fallen Kingdom, so it's pretty old, and it doesn't have any action buttons, but its whole body is very poseable. So let's get them posed, and let's set them right next to the Utah Raptor. For our next T-Rex, we've got a pretty wildly colored one. This one was actually custom colored. Plus, I believe this T-Rex is from the first Jurassic World movie, so you might have some trouble finding it now. Next, let's grab this Atrociraptor figure in the classic white with brown striping, just like in the movie. And this is a basic figure, so sadly there's no action buttons, but it still looks really cool. Let's set it down right next to the other Atrociraptor. <laughs> Looks like we got one more big T-Rex here. This T-Rex is also from the first Jurassic World movie, so it is pretty old and probably pretty hard to find. And this version has the tan coloring. It's got some gray detailing along its face and the action button on its back for the jaws. All right, here is our final Endoraptor of the collection, I think. This is the basic version of the Endoraptor, so it's a whole lot less poseable than many of these other figures right here. And it might actually be a little bit smaller. All right, it looks like it is in the sneaking pose. Check out that gold stripe that switches to a darker brown gold right along its tail. And let's set this up right beside these Atrociraptor figures. Now let's grab this T-Rex figure. This is actually a model T-Rex figure, not made by Mattel, but it still looks really ferocious, has some really cool texturing and color detailing too. And since it's a little bit smaller, let's set it up on the front lines right in front of the raptors. Over here, we've got a huge Velociraptor blue figure. And just like this Endoraptor figure that we see right here, this is the basic version of Velociraptor. Velociraptor blue, so it's not super poseable, but it still looks great. Let's set this up right behind the basic Endoraptor. We've got some crazy looking T-Rexes in here. This figure's a bit smaller than all the rest of the T-Rexes, but it still has some amazing coloring. Check out that texturing and the fading from the yellow to the green. Let's set this one down right behind the first model T-Rex figure. <laughs> Back to our raptors, we've got another Velociraptor blue figure, but this one is from the Amber collection, so this one is super poseable, and it's even got some glowing gold eyes. That's a really cool feature. So why don't we set this one up right next to the basic Velociraptor blue figure. Look at the differences in the coloring and the texturing. 
compared to the basic version right here. On to our next T-Rex figure. We've got a blue and gold T-Rex figure right here. And it's even got some bright teal coloring right around its eyes too. I think this figure might be the smallest T-Rex yet. So let's set this one up right in front. Let's go ahead and grab these other two Amber Collection Velociraptors. There's first Velociraptor Charlie in the bright green coloring with the striping along the top and a headpiece right behind its face. Let's set this raptor down right in front of the Amber Collection Velociraptor Blue. And then there's Velociraptor Echo in the brown and black coloring with the lighter underbelly. And so let's set this Velociraptor up right in front of the others. <laughs> Looks like we've got a few small T-Rexes in here. This is an older figure from the first Jurassic World movie. It's got a little battle damage on the side and a tail that controls the mouth. Now this is a little itty bitty T-Rex, so we're gonna put it right up front. And here is our last raptor of this collection. It looks like it's an Atrociraptor in the white with brown striping, just like this basic version right here. And so we're gonna set it up right in front really close to the other T-Rex. And here is our final dinosaur. This is a green T-Rex from the first Jurassic World movie. Just like the other miniature T-Rex that we see right here, it's got the battle damage on the side and you can use the tail to open and close the mouth as well as move the neck. So let's set this down right in front next to the other T-Rex. But wait, I've actually got a surprise for you. I've actually bought some new stuff to show in this collection. This first one is a custom colored T-Rex that I just ordered off of eBay. This is my first time seeing it and I love the attention to detail with the coloring. It really looks lifelike. Plus, it looks like there's a whole lot more battle damage than there normally was on this figure. That is really cool. And look at that, there's even some more battle damage on the other side. All right, that is super cool. I definitely wanna be getting more custom painted T-Rexes. And let's not forget for the Raptor side, I just bought an uncaged Rowdy Roars Velociraptor Beta figure. Now let's power it up and check it out. Just like the Rowdy Roar figure back there, there's a button at the top of the head. You get some chomping and sound effects. And you can also touch it underneath its chin to make it walk. What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Amazing Dinosaurs. Today we are checking out a collection of Jurassic World T-Rexes versus their prey. And to start it off, we're gonna start with this old Jurassic Park T-Rex figure. This T-Rex figure has the real feel skin, so it's actually rubber instead of hard plastic. And when you press on the stomach, it opens and closes its mouth, although it doesn't work too well anymore. It's pretty old. And our first prey is this Dino Tracker's Stegosaurus. This is one of my newest Stegosaurus figures. It has this awesome backpack. There's some pretty cool coloring and detailing all over its body too. For the next mighty T-Rex, we're gonna go with this bright orange one, I believe from Fallen Kingdom. This figure features posable arms and legs and you can use the tail for a roaring action or for a chomping action. This is one of the few dinosaur figures that has this type of chomping action. For our next prey, we're gonna go with the Amargosaurus figure. This dinosaur stands on all four legs, it has the super long neck and these two really tall spine or frill things running down its neck all the way to its tail and has an action button to move its neck and to move its tail too. This T-Rex figure is from the most recent Jurassic World movie, which was Dominion. It has the darker brown body with the black top. It has posable arms and legs. And on this figure, you can move the tail side to side to move its torso and to open and close its jaw. Our next predator is actually another carnivore. This is the Baryonyx figure, and this one specifically has the bright orange paint on the top of its head. But let me know in the comments, do you think that T-Rexes hunted Baryonyxes? Back to the T-Rex side, we've got a T-Rex from the original Jurassic World movie. And like many figures from that movie, this figure is actually made by Hasbro not Mattel, who makes all the new figures today. This figure has some sound effects. You can pose it in a roaring pose, and you can move its tail down for a chomping action. For the next prey, we've got an Iguanodon figure. I believe this one is also from Jurassic World Dominion. It's a medium-sized figure, and it actually has an action. When you press down on its back, it chomps its head. 
This next T-Rex I got very recently. This is actually a custom painted T-Rex figure. You can see right here that it is also a battle damage T-Rex that you can still turn on and off, which is pretty awesome. And I love this camo color. This Prey herbivore figure is the Hammond Collection Triceratops. Unlike many of the other Triceratops figures, this one has much more natural coloring. It does have a lighter underbelly and there's some detailing along its face. I really love the detail on its horns. It makes it look really worn. Up next for the T-Rexes is actually another custom painted T-Rex that I got probably a few weeks ago. This figure is called, I think it's like the Terran T-Rex or something like that, and it has an action button on its back that you can use for the tearing action and another button on its back to move the tail too. And this custom paint job has a much more realistic look, I think. You can see different shades of brown and then of course it has the lighter underbelly. But the coolest part, I think, are all the battle damage slashes that the artist added onto this figure. So I think this is a lot more battle damage than this Terran T-Rex originally had. I think this next unusual dinosaur could also have been prey for T-Rex dinosaurs. This is a Sarcosuchus. I believe there's two different versions of this figure. And this one has the green body with the brown on the top. And of course, the super long jaw that you can open and close with a button on its tail. This T-Rex figure is a dark green color and one of the only few, I think, that is naturally dark green. This was not custom painted. Its arms and legs and tail are posable like many of the other figures and it has a button on the top of its head for the chomping action. Our next prey is an Ankylosaurus. This figure, I think, is from the Camp Cretaceous series and it features the clay red underbelly and then the brown armoring on top with the tan spikes. And this figure features an attack action when you press down on its back. Back to the T-Rex side, we've got the Camp Cretaceous Epic Roarin' T-Rex. I think this T-Rex figure might actually be a little bit larger than many of the other T-Rex figures. And it features the movable arms and legs. And by moving the tail, you can move the T-Rex's head and open and close the jaw. Next up for the prey, I've got another Stegosaurus figure. This one is quite a bit older. It features the blue-green coloring on the sides. It's got a lighter yellow underbelly. And like many of the Stegosaurus figures, it has an attack button when you press down on one of its spines. Here's another battle damage T-Rex. This figure, kind of like the custom painted Terran T-Rex, has battle damage painted on its body, some on its neck, a little bit on its chin, and elsewhere on its body too. And other than that, you can move its arms, you can adjust its legs and its tail, and it has the button at the top of the head for roaring. Back to the prey side, we've got, I believe, a Cynoceratops. This figure is in the light blue-gray coloring. It's also got some bright yellow and orange coloring on the front of its face. And by moving the tail, you can move the head, and it has sound effects too. These next two T-Rexes are a bit smaller in size than many of the other ones. This first one here is the Sound Surge T-Rex that came out for Jurassic World Dominion. And it's pretty small and it's a hard plastic compared to this Jurassic Park I believe it's a juvenile T-Rex, and this figure has the real feel skin, so almost its whole body is this soft rubber. And this figure has some epic battle damage on its side, but no sound effects. However, the sound surge obviously does have sound effects. For our next prey figure, we're gonna go with one that might be a little controversial. It is a Velociraptor. Do you think that T-Rexes hunted Velociraptors? This figure is the basic Velociraptor, so you can pose its tail, its legs, and its arms, but it doesn't come with any sound effects or attack buttons. Next up for the T-Rexes is a figure that is very special to me. This is a Stomp and Escape T-Rex that I custom painted myself. And let's actually compare this painting with the original version. So here is the original paint job. You can see that it's mostly brown and it has some gray detailing along the top of its body. And compare that with what I did. So it still has a lot of brown on the top, but it's got this really nice green color running all the way up to its face. And then of course the bright yellow underbelly. I think it's pretty cool and it is one of the figures I am the most proud of. The next prey figure is another scary looking carnivore, but it still might've been hunted by the T-Rex. This is the Sukomimus figure. And I think there are two different versions of this figure. This one is in the blue with the yellow detailing running down its spine. And it has one action button for the chomping action. 
Next, let's go ahead and open up this brand new one that I bought for this video. This is the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Extreme Chompin' T-Rex. All right, here it is. It's another bright orange T-Rex with the darker brown on top and the light underbelly. It has the posable arms, it's got the posable legs, and the tail as well. And you can actually move the neck and head around quite a lot too. But don't forget, it also has the chomping button on the top of its head. <laughs> Our next prey is another Triceratops figure. I believe that this one is from Jurassic World Dominion, and it has some unusual colors on it. There's this soft green color in the back, and then it has this more swampy green color running up all the way to its face, and it has the orange on the top of its frill too. And this figure features an attack button when you press down on its body. This next T-Rex is an extreme battle damage T-Rex. It has the light underbelly with brown on the sides and then the gray detailing on the top. And I think this T-Rex might have been what this originally looked like. So check out those differences in the coloring now. They look totally different. For our next prey, we've got another Iguanodon figure, but this one actually came out quite recently. I believe it was released as a pack with a Scorpio Venator figure. And this Iguanodon has the light tan on the sides with the darker brown on top, and it has an attack button when you press down on its back. Our next T-Rex is the Mighty Bull T-Rex from Jurassic Park. You can see the leg tattoo right there. And like many of the older figures, this has the real feel skin. So it's a soft rubber over most of its body. And something that's pretty unique for the older Jurassic Park figures, this T-Rex can actually swallow smaller dinosaurs. And you can see the stomach compartment right there. This prey figure is the Herrerasaurus. And I believe this dinosaur is also a carnivore, but I think it was plenty small enough to be hunted by T-Rexes. And this Herrerasaurus figure features the battle damage on the side that you can open and close. Next, let's grab this huge, super colossal T-Rex that's been hanging out in the back. This figure is also a custom colored T-Rex, and it is now in the dark green coloring with the black striping along the top. This figure might be one of my oldest super colossal figures. It definitely has a lot of wear and tear to it. Next up for the prey, I've got a small Parasaurolophus figure. Now it doesn't have any action buttons, but you can still pose its arms, its legs, its tail, and of course its head. And here's another classic T-Rex figure with a light brown and dark brown along the top, and a fully posable body, and the jaw chomping action. For our final prey and dinosaur of this collection is a baby Brachiosaurus figure. This one comes in a few different versions, and this is the light green on the sides and the dark green along the top. Today on Amazing Dinosaurs is a T-Rex versus Irex collection, and I've got a bin overflowing with T-Rexes and Irexes here. Plus, I've got one of the new Dino Trackers right here that we'll check out as well. Let's get started with these super colossal figures. This is the Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex with the dark brown coloring and the black detailing along its body. The other super colossal T-Rex I have selected for this collection is a custom colored one. Check out this this light blue coloring and the dark red eyes. And this T-Rex figure is definitely a lot older than the Dominion T-Rex figure. And we're gonna stand them together on the T-Rex side. And now for the Irex side, this is the super colossal Irex figure. I believe was released as part of Camp Cretaceous. It's got a whole lot more bumps and texturing compared to the T-Rex figures and I love its teeth. And that figure is gonna go over here on the Irex side. And next up, why don't we open up the brand new Dino Trackers Indominus Rex. Now this new Irex figure is very interesting. It's actually quite a bit smaller than many of my other Irex figures. You can see the barcode scanner right there for the app, so you can check that out on your phone. Of course, it's still got the same coloring and detailing as many of the other Irex figures, but this one has a feature that I don't know I've ever seen before. It has the button on its tail to activate the chomping. But check that out, there's some glowing green lights inside. That's pretty cool. 
So now let's set this on the Irex side, right in front of the Super Colossal. Now let's go over here to our bin and grab another T-Rex. We're first gonna go with this one. I believe this is a Camp Cretaceous Battle Damage T-Rex. They actually released another one for Jurassic World Dominion that's pretty similar other than it has different coloring. But these figures are pretty cool because they've got the huge battle damage on the side that you can turn on and off with the click of a button. That's pretty cool. And we're gonna place this right underneath the Dominion T-Rex. Now back to the Irexes, we're gonna grab this camouflage Irex one. This one looks pretty wild. Now this one is actually a custom colored Irex. So all this coloring you can see here was done in detail by someone that I bought from on eBay. Even the blood on its mouth, too. That's pretty awesome. Now let's find a place for it on the Irex side. How about way there in the back? There we go. Now back to the T-Rexes, we're gonna go with this big figure. This is the Terran T-Rex. This Jurassic World T-Rex has the classic brown coloring over most of its body and a slightly lighter underbelly. You can see it's got some hidden battle damage along its face. It looks like those are kind of scars. That's pretty cool. But the special feature of this figure is the button on its back, which causes a huge tearing action. And not only that, but there's another button on its back to swing the tail back and forth too. So now let's set this on the T-Rex side and we're gonna have it go way in the back over here. And this T-Rex is really face to face with that Irex figure. Next, let's grab this huge Irex figure right here. This is the Battle Damage Edition Irex. Check out the size difference between this one and the Dino Tracker Irex that I just bought. This one might be twice the size of that one. And it's still got all the cool texturing and spikes and detailing. Plus it has the battle damage on its side that you can turn on and off. Now let's set this one in the back here, right next to the Super Colossal Irex. For the T-Rexes, we're gonna go with the Jurassic World Dominion version. Now this T-Rex figure looks very similar to the Dominion Super Colossal figure right here. You can tell that this was the color theme that they were going for that film. And like many other T-Rex figures, it has the tail that can move the torso around, as well as open and close the jaw. We're gonna put this one right next to the older Super Colossal T-Rex. Let's dive back in here. This other giant T-Rex figure is one of the classic Irexes. This Jurassic World figure is pretty similar to the battle damage one way back here, except that it doesn't have the battle damage on the side. Instead, it has a button right on its back used for slashing its claws. Plus, of course, you can use the button on the tail to activate the jaw. And we're gonna set this one right next to the Battle Damage Irex. This is the Stomp and Escape T-Rex from Jurassic World. And this figure is built a little bit differently than a lot of the other T-Rex figures. You can see that its legs actually have different joints as well as this big joint right in its torso. And I'll show you what that does. So it has this really cool action where it lifts up its head to roar. And the other cool part is that you can actually twist the tail to get stomping action with sound effects. So that's why those weird looking joints are right there. And of course, this T-Rex figure is gonna go on the T-Rex side. This next one is a pretty special Irex figure. This is a hybrid edition Irex. Now this Jurassic World figure actually came out for the first Jurassic World movie and was made by Hasbro instead of Mattel, who makes many of the newer figures now. It's got some crazy coloring on its arms and its underbelly and feet and the bright red along its back and its head too. Plus, there's a hidden action button on its side that you can press to activate more spikes on its back. So now let's set this on the Irex side, right on the front lines. Now right here is that Jurassic World Dominion battle damage T-Rex that I was telling you about earlier. Now let's compare it to the earlier version that they released, and they're pretty similar in shape and size. I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually the exact same figure, but with different coloring. And this Dominion version is a much more like orange brown coloring over all of its body, but it's still got the battle damage on its side. Now let's set up this T-Rex right next to the others. 
This next IREX figure is pretty unusual, actually. It looks totally different than many of the other figures. This figure is still made by Mattel, but I believe it's from the Imaginext line. So it looks to be like a figure for a slightly younger audience. But it has one of the most unique attack actions that I've ever seen. When you move its tail up and down, it actually swings its torso in all sorts of directions. That's pretty cool. That is very unique too. So let's go ahead and set it down on the Irex side. This T-Rex figure is another extreme damage T-Rex, but it is not like the others. And that's because it does not have the battle damage opening on the side that you can press a button, but rather it has this painting all over its body for the battle damage. And other than that, it has a very orange coloring with the darker brown on top. And let's set it in the back here next to the Dominion T-Rex. This IREX figure is another one made by Hasbro for the first Jurassic World movie. And it sure is quite a bit different. First off, it's got this real feel skin along its neck and on the top of its head. And instead of having a chomping button on its tail, you can actually move its arm to open and close its mouth. And you can kind of tell on its back that it has lights underneath whenever you move its arm, but it's pretty faint, so you can't really tell when it's light out. But nonetheless, let's set it down on the IREX side here. For the T-Rex side, we're gonna go with another figure that was released for the first Jurassic World movie, made by Hasbro. This smaller T-Rex figure is a light tan color, much lighter than the Dominion Damage T-Rex back there. And it looks pretty different in design too. It has a much longer head, a smaller body, and it has a single action button on its back for the jumping action. Now this figure is pretty old, so it doesn't work as well, but we're gonna put it right next to the extreme battle damage T-Rex on this side. Up next, we've got the Feeding Frenzy Indominus Rex figure. This figure is a whole lot smaller than a lot of the Indominus Rex figures we've seen so far, but it still has a pretty large face for how small its body is. And it's got some unique special features. First, there's this button on its nose that you can get some sound effects from. Then you can move its tail to open up its mouth. Then you can feed this Indominus Rex by pressing down on its mouth and it'll chomp its mouth closed. Now let's set this Irex right on the front lines against the T-Rexes. This next figure is a classic T-Rex, I think was released for the second Jurassic World movie, which is Fallen Kingdom. It's got the classic brown body with the darker top and a button at the top of its head for the chomping and roaring action. And we're gonna put this guy right on the edge because we're running out of space for all these T-Rexes. This is the Sound Surge Indominus Rex figure released for Jurassic World Dominion. It's pretty basic in design. It has the same coloring as all the rest, but it's one big feature is that it has this speaker on its side and this button on the top for the sound effects. Let's place this dino right behind the Feeding Frenzy IREX. And I've actually got the Sound Surge edition for the T-Rex as well. It's actually a little bit smaller than the IREX figure, but it still has the button on its top for the sound effects. And we're gonna place this one on the front lines of the T-Rex side. This next figure is an even smaller IREX figure. This is from the first Jurassic World movie as well. It has some battle damage on its side that you can open and close, and you can use the tail on this figure to move the head and chomp its mouth. Now let's place this kind of in the back for the IREX side. We're getting down to just a few T-Rexes left. This is a Lego T-Rex figure for Jurassic World. It has kind of similar coloring compared to the Jurassic World regular figures with the brown, and it's got some darker brown detailing along its body. So why don't we place this right up front here next to the Sound Surge T-Rex. I've also got the Lego IREX figure. This one, interestingly, is actually a similar color to the Lego T-Rex over here instead of the classic gray coloring for the IREX. I think that makes it pretty cool. Plus, it has some really cool teeth. They're pretty unique, I think. Check that out compared to the T-Rex over here. And here's the IREX's teeth. And our next T-Rex figure is a super small green T-Rex figure from the first Jurassic World movie. It's got a pretty large face for its size. It has some battle damage right on the side of its body. And you can use the tail to chomp the head and move the head back and forth too. 
Let's set this up right next to the Lego T-Rex. And here is our final Irex. This, I believe, is the Bite and Thrash Indominus Rex. Now, similar to this T-Rex that we just saw a moment ago, this one has the battle damage right on the side, and you can use the tail to move the head up and down and chomp the jaw. <laughs> And we're actually gonna leave this figure right here, right in front of the Lego Irex. And here is our final figure of this collection. It is a juvenile T-Rex figure. It has a light green body with a darker brown accenting on its back. And you can use the tail to chomp the mouth open and closed which is pretty cool considering how small this figure is. <laughs> now the full collection is set up. Who do you think would win in this battle? The T-Rexes or the Irexes? I'm gonna be showing you my entire raptor collection from Jurassic World and ranking them from biggest all the way to the smallest. The first and largest raptor of this collection is this custom colored super colossal endoraptor. This used to be a velociraptor blue figure, but now it has the black with the gold stripe down its back for the endoraptor. For the next biggest figure is another super colossal. This is velociraptor blue. And as you can see, these two super colossal figures are actually actually identical, so this one originally used to be a Velociraptor Blue just like this. Moving on to our next biggest figure is this Dino Trackers Endoraptor. This is quite a new figure and it's got a really cool reflective blue color all over it. It's also got an action button on its back to activate its jaw and you can move the arms to twist the neck back and forth too. Next up in size, let's see, I think it's actually another Endoraptor, but this is an older figure. This is the grab and growl version. And this figure is pretty hard to find nowadays, so it's actually pretty rare. And on this figure, you can use the tail to open and close the jaw, to swing the arms back and forth, and to move the entire torso. Check it out, they're pretty close in size. Next up, I'm gonna be opening a brand new one. This is the Primal Pal Velociraptor Blue figure. Let's open it up. So this figure has a shorter tail than a lot of the Velociraptor figures I have, and it actually has some pretty realistic movements. You can move it side to side, it's got some sound effects, and you can push it down for a chomp action too. And let's set that right next in line. Moving right along here, I think we've got our final Endoraptor of this collection. A lot of these Endoraptors are pretty big. This is the smallest one, and it doesn't have any action buttons, but all of its limbs are still extremely poseable. This next one is the basic Velociraptor blue figure. There's not too much that you can adjust with it, but it still has movable arms, legs, and a tail. This next one is another medium-sized basic Velociraptor figure, but it has totally different coloring. It's in a bright orange and brown coloring. Next, we've got our first Atrociraptor of this collection, and this figure I actually personally custom colored. This is another basic figure from Jurassic World, so it doesn't have that many action features, but I'm really happy with how the color turned out. <laughs> Check it out, here's another Atrociraptor figure. This is the basic edition, once again, from Jurassic World. So let's set this down right next to the custom colored one. And here is our first Pyroraptor of this collection. This is the basic edition, so you can move its arms, its legs, and its tail. And I think it might be a little bit smaller or actually the same size as the Atrociraptors. All right, here is the first and only Mega Raptor that I have in my entire collection. This is from the Jurassic World Dominion series. It's got some huge claws on its hand, and when you press down on its back, it has a chomping action. For the next in size, let's go with the Hammond Edition Velociraptor. These raptors are pretty cool because they are super articulate with their limbs, and they have quite a bit more detail than the basic ones. And right over here is another Amber Collection Velociraptor. This one is Velociraptor Blue. Check out that blue stripe down its back. 
And here is the final amber collection Velociraptor that I have in this collection. This one is the bright green with stripes on it. And let's set that down right next in line. Next up here is a pretty old Jurassic World figure. This is one of the first Velociraptors that Jurassic World released for the first movie. And these figures have quite a hard time standing up, so let's see if we can get it to stand up in line as the next in size. All right, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. Here is another Atrociraptor figure in the bright orange coloring, but this is actually a Rowdy Roars Atrociraptor. Let's turn on the power and let's see it come to life. All right, now we're getting down to the real small raptors. Let's open up this new Austroraptor from the Dino Tracker series. So I think this is the only Austroraptor that I have in my entire collection. And this one has a much narrower and longer snout than a lot of the Velociraptor figures I have in my collection, but it's still got some feathering on its elbows. Right over here, I've got a super bright Velociraptor figure. It's in a bright blue color, and this one is actually spring-loaded, so you can launch it up into the air. Here, let me show you how it leaps. You press down, and then you release. This next one is another spring-loaded Velociraptor, but this is in a brown and dark brown coloring. Let's check out that jumping action on this one, too. Next up, this Velociraptor figure has a slashing action. So when you push on its torso, it swings back and forth, and it's actually spring-loaded too, so it could be pretty fast. All right, let's set this down next in line. This next one is a darker colored Velociraptor, and it has a different feature. There's a button on its back that you can use for a slashing action. Next, we've got our final Atrociraptor figure of this collection, and this is a Battle Damage Edition. There is a button on its back that you can use to activate the battle damage on the side. And since we're out of space on the very end of the table, let's start a new line up front here. This next figure is a newer Velociraptor from Jurassic World Dominion. It's got a darker body with some bright detailing on the top. This next raptor is a really cool colored Velociraptor. Check out that green speckled detailing on the top of its body. And let's set that down right there. Here's a different looking Velociraptor blue figure. This might actually be Velociraptor beta because it does look quite a bit younger. Now this is an amazingly colored Velociraptor. Check out that reflective gold right on its head. And let's put that next in line. All right, only two left. This next one is another Pyroraptor figure, but this one is in a battle damage edition with a button on the top to open and close the battle damage. <laughs> and the final Raptor in this biggest to smallest collection is this click tracker Atrociraptor. So after you turn it on, you use the remote and it follows the sound. Let's check that out. It's pretty cool. I like that it's motorized. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a huge collection of Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Indominus Rex. First up, we've got the Jurassic World Dominion Super Colossal T-Rex. This figure has a dark brown side and black top with a lighter underbelly, and it's got adjustable arms, legs, and a tail. And up front, I can tell that the plastic is a bit softer on its neck. The rest of its head is a hard plastic, and you can open it up way wide, and you're able to actually swallow smaller dinosaurs down to the stomach compartment. That's pretty cool. Next up, we've got another super colossal figure. This is an Indominus Rex. It has the classic light gray body, 
and is pretty detailed with all the spikes and the spines. It's got some spines up there, it's got some behind its elbows, it's got those super long claws on its hand. And just like the T-Rex, you can adjust the arms, the legs, you can swing the tail around. But on this figure, you can also twist the neck too. Here is the next figure. It's another super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one has the light orange body with the lighter underbelly. And just like the Jurassic World Dominion Tyrannosaurus Rex, the neck is actually a little bit softer. It's like a softer plastic right there. And you can move the arms, the legs, the tail, just like the other ones. And of course, this one has the stomach compartment for eating smaller dinosaurs. And we've got some brand new figures that we can open up first before we dive into the rest of them. This one is the PNSO Wilson the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure is super detailed. Look at all that texturing on its body, all the various shades of colors. It's like lighter right here, there's darker shades. These are a lot more detailed than a lot of the Jurassic World figurines. But unfortunately, they're not as posable. Usually you can only move their jaw. All right, let's dig in. This first Tyrannosaurus Rex is the Battle Damage Edition. It has the light orange body. You can see that there's scrapes and slashes all over its body, even on its face and nose. And it has a fully posable body, plus the button at the top of the head for chomping. Over here, we've got an Indominus Rex, the Extreme Battle Damage Edition. With this one, you can actually turn the battle damage on and off. That's so cool. Each time that you press that button, it delivers a roar sound effect too. On the rest of the figure, the arms and the legs are fully adjustable. And there's a button at the tail that controls the jaw. Here we've got the epic Roarin' Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure is light brown on the sides, dark brown on top, and the lighter underbelly. And the coolest part is the roar and shaking sound effects. Over here is the Jurassic World Chompin' Indominus Rex. This is a bit of an older figure. It's got the hard plastic on the back and the rubber on the neck and head. You don't see that too often nowadays. And for the chomping action, you pull down on the arms to open and close its mouth. I believe this figure is the Bite and Fight Tyrannosaurus Rex. As you can tell by the name, it has one big special feature. Press this button on its back and it does a tearing action. Swings its head around and closes its mouth real fast. And there is also a secondary button that swings its tail back and forth. I believe this figure is the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex, but you'll notice that it has some custom coloring. So, this definitely does not look like your typical Indominus Rex. And this figure really pops out on my display shelves. My favorite part being those green eyes right there. Next up is the Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex. As you can tell by the name, it has two features. The first, when you press this button on its back, it'll escape from its face cage. Just like that. And the second feature is stomping. When you twist the tail, it stomps its feet up and down. Comes with sound effects too. Here we have a classically colored destroy and devour Indominus Rex. This figure is pretty detailed over its body. It's got tons of spikes on its back. It's got those spines right along its neck. It's got some unique coloring along its eyes, right next to those orange eyes. And this figure has a few different features. First, when you bend the legs forward, it'll actually point its head down. And when you bend them back, it'll point its head upwards. Secondly, there's a button on its back that's used for slashing. And finally, there's a button on its tail for the chomping and roaring. Here is an extreme battle damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure is pretty poseable. You're able to move the arms, the legs, and swing the tail around, as well as adjust the neck and open and shut the jaw by hand. But the coolest part is the battle damage that you can turn on and off, just like the Indominus Rex that we saw earlier. 
And you can see it on both sides. Next up, we've got the Extreme Chompin' Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure has a more gray-brown coloring on the sides with a darker brown on top and the light underbelly and is adjustable just like many of the other figures. And it has the button at the top of its head for chomping and roaring. Here is another Indominus Rex, but this does not look normal. This is a hybrid Indominus Rex. So this one has some pretty awesome and unique coloring along its body. It's the only Indominus Rex to have red on its body, I believe, as well as the gold on its arms and its belly. And this dinosaur has a few features. First is a hidden button that activates its spikes on its back. Secondly is the chopping action, which you activate by moving its arm. Here we have, I believe, another extreme chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one though has the orange body with the brown coloring on the top with the lighter underbelly. And of course, that chomping button right on the top of its head. This is the Stomp and Chomp Tyrannosaurus Rex. It has the typical orange body with the brown top and lighter underbelly. And what I really like about this figure is that you use the tail to control the head and the whole front of the body for chomping and for roaring too. Here we've got a model Indominus Rex, which I don't see that many of. But what I like about these models is that they're so much more intricately colored and textured. Check out those spikes on its back. They're so small on all those little spines and all those little horn things right along its back all the way to its tail. And just like many other model figures, you can't adjust the arms and legs. Only the mouth can open and close in these. But these sure look epic on a display shelf. Next up is the Legacy Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is one of the few Tyrannosauruses that I have that are this cool green color with the black detailing on the top. It has that same button on the top of its head for chomping. And this T-Rex actually came with a baby T-Rex in the same pack. So these came together. Here is a smaller Indominus Rex figure with a battle damage on the side that you can open and close. And while most of its body is that iconic gray color, it does have some gray green coloring along the top, which is different from most of my other Indominus Rex figures. Plus this figure comes with a chomping action when you move the tail. Way at the bottom here, I've actually got the T-Rex anatomy kit. Now I am missing a few pieces to it. It's really easy to misplace these, but it's really cool that you can take this apart to check out all the different body parts within. You can take the ribs out, you can see this muscle on its tail and the bone behind it. And you can even take apart this foot right here and see what's underneath. How cool is that? This is the Bashers and Biters Indominus Rex figure. This is from the old Jurassic World toy line, and it has similar coloring to the rest of them, a little bit darker gray on top, got the battle damage on the side, and of course you can move the tail to control the face. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex figure, but I believe it is a juvenile or even a baby T-Rex. You can see it's got the mouth restraint on, because the humans are actually healing its leg. It's got a broken leg, so it's got this bandage around it. And this figure is very adjustable too. You can move all the limbs, even at the elbows. And of course you can move the tail and twist the head around and even open and close the mouth. This is the Feeding Frenzy Indominus Rex. This is a lot smaller than most of the Indominus Rex figures, but it has quite a large face to it. And it has a few features. The first is when you press this button on its nose, get some sound effects. And the second is when you move the tail, it opens its mouth to eat, and then you can press down on its tongue to clamp shut its jaw. And last of all, I've got a few small figures in here. Got a Lego Indominus Rex figure, which is pretty cool. It's the only Lego figure that I have in this bin at least. We've also got some miniature Tyrannosaurus Rex figures from Jurassic World. This one is green with a light underbelly. And the second one here is brown with a light underbelly as well. 
And I also have these two Indominus Rexes in this bin. The first one is white with silver, reflective silver on its top. And you can open and close the jaw. And the second one is a clear Indominus Rex. You can't move any parts on this figure, but I think it's pretty cool that it's see-through. Today, I'm showing you my ultimate collection of Velociraptor versus Baryonyx versus Carnotaurus figures. Let's get started with these brand new ones that I just bought to add to this collection. First up, we've got Baryonyx Limbo from the Camp Cretaceous pack. Let's open it up. This is so cool. This is actually the first of this Baryonyx that I have in my collection. It's got a lime green body, it's got a darker green along the bottom of its back, and it's got some brown detailing on its neck all the way to the top of its head. You can move all the limbs and the tail on this figure, and there is a slide lever action for roaring and the sound effects. Next up, we've got the Velociraptor from the Jurassic World Attack Pack. Let's check it out. This Velociraptor has some pretty unique coloring. It's got a dark blue body and a dark red detailing along the top, which is pretty unique. I don't know that I have another figure colored like this. And here we've got another Velociraptor, but this is actually from the Hammond collection. Let's open it up and check it out. This Velociraptor figure is even darker than the one that we just saw. It's got a dark green body with brown detailing on the tail, all over the back on its legs, and it's still got the lighter underbelly all the way to the chin. And since it's a Hammond Collection figure, you'll notice that it is a much more poseable than a lot of the classic Velociraptor figures. You can move basically every limb on this figure. Let's dig into this bin now, and we're gonna start with the Velociraptors over here on the left. The first one here is Velociraptor Delta from the Amber Collection. You'll notice with all these Amber Collection figures that they are very poseable, just like the Hammond Collection figures. And Velociraptor Delta here has some bright blue coloring with the lighter underbelly. This is Velociraptor Blue from the Amber Collection. Very poseable, just like the last one. You can move the tail and all the limbs. And of course, it's got the iconic blue stripe all the way down the body on both sides. This, I believe, is Velociraptor Echo. This is also from the Amber Collection. It's got the light underbelly, a brown body with some darker striping, and the black top, too. The next Velociraptor from the Amber Collection is, I believe this one is called the Tiger Velociraptor? I can't quite remember. Let me know down in the comments if you remember. I also forgot to mention earlier that in all the Amber Collection Velociraptors, you can actually move this claw up and down, just like real life. This last Velociraptor from the Amber Collection is Velociraptor Charlie. This figure has a lime green body with darker green detailing all over its back and tail. It's got this headpiece attached to its head, and just like all the other ones, it is very poseable and adjustable, and you can stand it in any way you want on your shelf. Let's see what other Velociraptor figures we got in here. I've got these smaller ones. This bright red Velociraptor is actually spring-loaded on its legs, so you can spring it up into the air, which is really cool. It's also got some pretty bright and awesome coloring, too. This other Velociraptor is also spring-loaded in the legs, so you can spring it into the air. And it's also got some bright coloring too. And of course, I've got Velociraptor Blue in the smaller figure with battle damage on the side. Right over here, I've got some Jurassic Park Velociraptors. So these figures are some of the oldest in my collection. You can see the Jurassic Park tattoo on their legs on both of them, but they've both got some different coloring. This is an orange and red Velociraptor. And this one, which I'm sure you've seen before, is brown with the black striping all over its body. This Velociraptor is pretty normal looking. It's got the brown body, a little darker brown on the top. But my favorite part is that it's got some bright green eyes. This next Velociraptor figure is another spring-loaded leaping Velociraptor. 
This one is also super brightly colored. It's got the bright blue on the sides with the darker blue along the top. Here is another Velociraptor figure with muted colors. It's got the gray body with the dark blue detailing along the top and some soft orange eyes. This is another version of Velociraptor Blue, but this one is the spring-loaded leaping version. So just like the others that I've shown you, you can bend down on its legs and it'll spring up into the air if you let it go. And of course, it's got the iconic blue coloring. Here is a basic Velociraptor figure from Jurassic World. It's a lot larger, but the limbs cannot move as much and it's not as versatile. Even the jaw cannot open and close, but it's still got some pretty cool coloring, the orange body, brown detailing, and yellow eyes. This is another basic figure from Jurassic World, but this is Velociraptor Blue. It's got the soft green blue body with the iconic blue stripe down on both sides of its body and the yellow eyes. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot these super colossal figures right here. This first Velociraptor is black around most of its body, but it's got this brown striping down the sides with some yellow speckling that's kind of hard to see on camera but it's also a little bit on its arm as well. It's got some super amazing colored eyes. And of course, this super huge jaw that you can open up all the way to feed it miniature dinosaurs down to its stomach compartment. Way back here, we've got the super colossal Velociraptor blue figure. This super colossal figure is very similar to the Velociraptor that I just showed you. It's even got the same amazingly colored eyes. And of course, it's got the iconic blue stripe down both sides of its body. Pretty adjustable with its limbs. And of course, it's got the stomach compartment down from its throat all the way down to its stomach so you can feed it miniature dinosaurs. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for all our Velociraptor figures. Now let's move to the Baryonyx figures right here in the center. The first one is the Baryonyx figure from the Hammond collection. So you'll see that this figure is very poseable and adjustable with all its limbs. Plus it's got a little more detail than most of the other Baryonyx figures. Next up, we've got the Baryonyx with the battle damage on its body. You can see a huge slash on its neck. It's got some on its leg as well and I think that's the only battle damage that's shown on this figure. But it's also got the button on its back for the chomping. This is an older Baryonyx figure from Jurassic Park. So this figure is a lot older, and as you can see, it is designed quite a bit differently. But it also has an action that when you move the leg back and forth, the head twists. This is a brighter Baryonyx. It's got a light gray body with white, dark blue and bright blue detailing on the top of its head. And this figure comes with a slide lever action for different roars and sound effects. This next Baryonyx figure is similar to the one that I opened up at the very beginning of the video, but it has a slightly more forced green color and it has two tones of brown on the top. It's got the light brown in the back and the dark brown along its neck, and then the light brown right along the top of its head once again. This Baryonyx figure came out during the Fallen Kingdom era. It's got the light brown body with the blue detailing along the top and the super bright orange along the top of its head and nose. Here is another Baryonyx figure from the Jurassic Park series. So this figure, once again, is a lot older. It has the bright yellow underbelly and some light brown with black specks along the top. And like the other Jurassic Park Baryonyx that we saw earlier, it has the action that when you move its leg, its head twists back and forth. Here is our final Baryonyx of the bin. This figure has a light brown side and underbelly. It's got the dark blue detailing all along the top from the tail to the head. And it's got the bright blue reflective coloring right along the top of its head and nose too. There's only one more dinosaur left in the bin and that is the Carnotaurus figures. Let's start with the super colossal Carnotaurus Toro figure. This figure has the iconic clay red sides with the lighter underbelly and the brown top. It's got the two huge horns on the top of its head. It's got a little bit of battle damage on the right side of its face. And of course, it's got a huge jaw that you can open up all the way to feed it miniature dinosaurs. 
This Carnotaurus figure is from the Fallen Kingdom era. It's got some darker red coloring with some purplish coloring along the top. And this Carnotaurus has a different action button than all the rest that I'll show you. It has a chomping action that moves its neck as well. This, I believe, is the Control and Conquer Carnotaurus. It has a much darker red, pretty much brown coloring along its body. It's got a gray underbelly and a dark brown top. And with this figure, the tail controls the neck so you can twist it back and forth, as well as a button on its tail for chomping. This next Carnotaurus, I believe, might be from Camp Cretaceous, but I can't quite remember. It's got a lighter red and slightly orange coloring along the side with the brown top and the gray underbelly. And this figure also has the tail that controls the head as well as the button for chomping. I've also got some smaller Carnotaurus figures in here that are not from Jurassic World, but are a bit more generic, but they differ quite a bit more with the coloring. You can see that this one's got some green coloring with it. Still got the iconic horns though. And this figure has some bright orange along its face. You won't see that with the Jurassic World figures. And this figure looks a bit more like Jurassic World with the red and the spines. But this figure has some ginormous horns on the top of its head. That's really cool. Here we've got the Carnotaurus figure from Jurassic World Dominion. It's even got the broken horn on the top of its head. This figure is colored entirely different too. It's got the dark green body with the orange detailing along the top. So it looks like they started to mix it up for the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. And last of all, we've got the Jurassic World Chompin' Carnotaurus figure. This figure looks more like a baby Carnotaurus in a lot of ways. It's got some huge eyes that you can actually blink with by pressing the button on the top of its head. And it's got a button on the bottom of its tail for a chomping action. Today, I'm showing you all of my T-Rex figures from biggest to smallest, so let's jump in. My first biggest T-Rex is this super colossal T-Rex from Jurassic World. This T-Rex has a bright orange body with a darker brown top. And just like all my super colossal figures, it can swallow miniature dinosaurs down its throat to the stomach compartment that you can open it up. My next biggest T-Rex is this super colossal Jurassic Park T-Rex. This is actually from Jurassic World Dominion. It has a much darker body. It's got black on top brown on the sides and a lighter underbelly. It's got a huge jaw and this figure can also swallow miniature dinosaurs and open them up in the stomach compartment. Next up, we've got a Jurassic Park T-Rex. I believe this T-Rex was called the Bull T-Rex. And this figure too can swallow miniature dinosaurs and other small stuff and you can empty it out in the stomach compartment. Right on top here, we've got the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure has some of the coolest coloring out of all the T-Rexes that I have. And it is remarkably adjustable too. You can bend the legs in all different directions, at the knees, at the ankles. You can bend the arms, you can twist the neck, and you can open the mouth, of course. Next, I've got this huge Jurassic World T-Rex with this ginormous head. This figure has the black top and brown sides, just like the super colossal T-Rex from Jurassic World Dominion. And this T-Rex can be controlled by moving the tail around. Back here, we've got, I believe what is called the Terran T-Rex or something like that. The special feature on this T-Rex is the tearing action with its mouth. It swings its head around and closes it at the same time. And it's got a secondary action button to swing the tail around too. This T-Rex, also from Jurassic World, is a stomping T-Rex. When you twist the tail, it stomps its legs up and down. And it has those cool sound effects too. Plus, as you notice with the cage, it actually breaks free from the cage just by pressing the button on its back. That is pretty cool. Here we've got another Jurassic Park T-Rex. So this is a very old figure. It's got the rubber body. And with this T-Rex figure, you can move the tail to swing the head back and forth. 
so it's not as advanced as the new Jurassic World T-Rexes, but it's still pretty cool. We've got tons more T-Rexes to go, let's keep digging. This huge T-Rex with similar coloring as the first super colossal T-Rex that we saw has some pretty cool functions. When you swing the tail, it swings its head back and forth, and it has a roar function when you move the tail, and a chomping action, all just by moving the tail. That is pretty cool. Over here, we've got a darker gray colored T-Rex with some brown on the top. This is also by Jurassic World. And you can twist the neck around, open the jaw, there's a button on top, activate the chomping, and you can swivel the tail around and move the legs as well. I think this one's bigger than the rest of them. This T-Rex has one of my favorite functions. It's actually battery operated, so that when you press the button on its tail, it opens its mouth and shakes. It actually has a motor in it to do that, which is pretty cool. Plus, you can move the tail around to swing its neck around to look. That's really cool. This T-Rex was custom colored a long time ago. It's got the bright green on the side, and it's got like camo colors and black all over the rest of its body with the lighter underbelly. And just like that bright orange T-Rex we saw just a second ago, you can control chomping and roaring with this figure just by moving the tail around. Next up, we've got a light brown T-Rex from Jurassic World. This is very similar in function to the darker gray figure that we just saw. It has the chomping button on the top of its head. You can move its neck around and you can adjust the rest of its body parts too. This is the extreme battle damage T-Rex from Jurassic World. It's got some different patterning along the top of its body compared to the rest of them. But the most important part is the battle damage on both sides that you can press this button up top to turn it on and off. Plus, the rest of the figure is very adjustable as well. Here's another T-Rex with some battle damage on it. It doesn't have the extreme battle damage on the side that you can turn on and off, but it does have these slashes all over its body, even its legs and its tail too. The rest of the figure is very adjustable, and of course, the button at the top of the head for chomping. Next up, we've got another custom colored T-Rex. This one is a super bright red color. It looks kind of like fire in my opinion. And it's got the black on the top and the orange striping right along the sides. And this figure is adjustable just like many of the other figures that I've shown so far too. Next up, we've got another bright orange T-Rex with the brown top. This figure is fully adjustable throughout its body and it's got the chomp button at the top of its head. Here's one of my favorite T-Rexes. This is a dark green color, and I'm not sure that I have any other green colored T-Rexes in my collection, so this one's pretty special to me. It's also got the black detailing along the top, and its body is fully adjustable with the legs, tail, arms, and neck, and there's the button at the top of its head for chomping. <laughs> Let's keep going, we still got quite a few T-Rexes to go. This T-Rex is from the old Jurassic World toy line. It's got a rubberized neck, so it's a bit flexible there, as well as the rubberized tail. And it has a chomping action with the tail. Now we're getting down to some slightly smaller T-Rex figures. This is a Jurassic World T-Rex, and it is actually a hybrid. It's got some spikes on the top of its head that you can push down and activate them by pressing the button on the back. Here is another custom colored T-Rex from the old Jurassic World toy line. It is bright red in color with black spots all over and the yellow underbelly. And it also has a chomping action on its back. Here's another similar T-Rex from the old Jurassic World toy line. This T-Rex is light tan in color all over its body. It's a little bit lighter on its belly. And just like the other two that we just saw, it has the chomping action button on its back. All right, this next T-Rex is a little bit smaller. This is a Jurassic Park T-Rex. I believe it's a juvenile T-Rex and it's actually got some battle damage right on the side. Next up, we've got a new Jurassic World Dominion figure. This, I believe, is the Sound Surge T-Rex. It's pretty small in size, and you have to open and close its jaw manually, but it does come with some awesome sound effects. And we've got some model T-Rexes in here. 
I'm not sure what brand this is from, and you can't move any of the limbs or the jaw on this figure, but it's got the dark brown coloring. It's got some interesting shading and black stripes all over its body. Here is another dark brown model T-Rex, but on this one, you can open and close its jaw. It's also got the black stripes and the lighter underbelly too. Check out that little bit of yellow right there on its nose. It's interesting. Here is a dark green model T-Rex. This one, you cannot move any of its body parts. So it is standing in this awesome roaring pose, just like I'm sure you've seen in the movies. Here is a bright orange or red model T-Rex. With this figure, you can open and close the jaw. Check out all those little teeth. And this figure looks quite a bit more muscular than a lot of the T-Rexes, I will say. Here is a super bright model T-Rex. It's got the bright blue along the top of its body, as well as the gold stripes. It's got a gray underbelly and some teal coloring right along its face. <laughs> Here is a darker model T-Rex. I love the attention to detail with the skin. It's like you can see all these little bumps all over its body. It's got the black stripes as well. And on this model, you can open and close its mouth. Here is a super striped T-Rex. This has some really bold black stripes right along the top of its body, while the rest of its body is this soft tan or orange color. And it's got some super bright yellow eyes too. And unfortunately, you cannot move any of the body parts on this model. Next up, we've got a light green colored T-Rex with some darker shading and detailing along its body. You can see those bumps right along its spine. And this figure does not have any moving parts either. So it is stuck in this roaring pose. We've got some even smaller T-Rexes in here. Here is a Jurassic World T-Rex that is pretty small. It's probably seven inches from tail to the nose and it fits easily in my hand. It's got some battle damage on the side and the tail controls the jaw and face. We've actually got a few more Jurassic World T-Rexes just like that last one. This first one is actually a hybrid T-Rex. It is a hybrid with a Dilophosaurus as you can tell by these huge frills in the front. It's still got the battle damage on the side and it's got this reflective gold along the top of its body and the very front too. And this T-Rex has a bright green body. It's got the battle damage on the side still and some darker detailing right along its face. This T-Rex figure is from Jurassic Park. So this is a super old figure. It's got some interesting purple detailing along the top. It's got a tan body. And actually this figure has a unique feature on the leg. You can actually bend it like that because it is a broken leg for this T-Rex. Right over here, we've got another juvenile T-Rex. This one has a bandage on its leg and the restraint on its mouth, so it can't bite people. It is super bright green with some cool detailing along the back and is very adjustable with all of its limbs too. This baby T-Rex is also from Jurassic World. It is bright green or yellow in color with some detailing along the top. And when you pull down on the tail, it chomps its jaws shut. All right, we've got some super small T-Rexes in here. I believe this one is from Jurassic World. I'm not sure actually, but they are both brown in color. This one is very adjustable. You can even move the tail around, you can move the legs and open and close the jaw. But this figure doesn't have any moving parts actually. And our last two T-Rexes of this collection from biggest to smallest. We've got a bright blue T-Rex with black stripes and no movable body parts. And this T-Rex here, you can move the legs, you can twist the tail around, and you can open and close the jaw too. Today on Amazing Dinosaurs is a T-Rex versus T-Rex collection. 
and we're gonna be facing them off against each other, right side versus the left side. And as an extra bonus, I've got a new custom colored T-Rex that I just ordered that we'll be checking out in a little bit. Let's get started with the biggest T-Rex figures. This one is a custom colored super colossal T-Rex. This is one of my most brightly colored T-Rexes. This one is super cool and will be the first on the right side. Over here, we've got another super colossal T-Rex. I believe this one is from Camp Cretaceous. It has the bright orange sides with the brown on top and the lighter underbelly. So let's place this on the left side over here. Going back to the right side, let's grab this super colossal Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex. This version of the super colossal T-Rex features some of the darkest coloring that any of my T-Rex figures have. And let's put this one on the right side. And for our final super colossal T-Rex is another custom colored one. This one is a light blue gray color all over and has some bright red eyes. I think this figure actually used to be the same color as this one right here. So let's put this figure on the left side to face off. There are our super colossal figures. Now let's move on to the rest of the smaller figures. This T-Rex is the Terran T-Rex. It has a button on its back that you can use for a really cool tearing action. It swings its entire neck around and closes its mouth. And not only that, but it also has a button to swing its tail back and forth too. All right, what team should we put this one on? Let's put it on the right side team. Up next is the Hammond Collection T-Rex. This figure came out pretty recently. It features much more detailed coloring and texturing, plus you can move its body in all sorts of different directions. Now let's put this Hammond Collection T-Rex on the left team. Here is the Epic Roarin' T-Rex figure from Camp Cretaceous. This figure is one of my favorite T-Rexes because of its realistic coloring, and it actually has a roar sound effects with vibration. That is battery operated, that's pretty cool. And we're gonna place this one on the right team. For the left team, we're gonna go with the smaller Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex. You can see that compared to the super colossal version, it's actually quite similar with the black on top and the dark brown on the sides and the yellow eyes, but obviously just a whole lot smaller. And we're gonna place this one actually on the left team. This T-Rex is another custom colored Tyrannosaurus Rex figure from Jurassic World. And this one features some really cool camouflage coloring all over its body. And you can even move the tail for a jaw snapping action and for a roaring action too. Now let's put this on the right team for the face off. Now back to our bin, what one should we grab next? Let's go for this bright orange one. This looks to be like a battle damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. It has some painted slashes on its neck and on its chin, as well as on its leg and its torso. And this seems to be a little bit smaller than a lot of these figures. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on the left team. Wow, look at that size difference between this one and the Hammond Collection T-Rex. For the right side, we're gonna go with this other battle damage T-Rex, but instead of painted battle damage, it actually has an activated battle damage slash right there that you can turn on and off. It's also interesting that this figure is a much darker orange than that battle damage T-Rex. And we're gonna put this one on the right team. Next up, we've got a larger T-Rex figure. This is the Stomp and Escape T-Rex. And this T-Rex figure actually came with this cage that you put on its face. And once it's on there, you can actually break free from it. That is really cool. And it's probably one of my favorite features. And we're gonna place this T-Rex on the left team. Right over here is another super brightly custom colored T-Rex figure. This T-Rex is another fiery red color and it actually has very similar design to this super colossal T-Rex right over here. You can see all those similarities. And now we're actually gonna place them on the same team on the right side. <laughs> All right, the time has come. We are gonna check out this new custom colored T-Rex that I ordered, and I actually haven't seen it yet. You can see the tip of the tail right there, so let's go ahead and pull it out. And here it is. All right, it is another custom colored camouflage T-Rex. That is super cool. It's got the bright green on the sides and then brown and black and tan all over the rest of its body. And this one looks to be actually a battle damage T-Rex 
like this bright orange one right over here. And look at that, you can actually turn the battle damage on and off still. And actually this figure seems to be pretty similar in color to this older custom colored camouflage T-Rex. Look at that, they're pretty similar. They both have a lot of the same colors. This is really cool. And instead of having them on the same team, I'm actually gonna put this one on the left team over here so they can face off against each other. Our next figure in this T-Rex versus T-Rex collection is this dark green T-Rex. And this one was actually not custom colored. This is how it came. And comparing the two colors, the custom colored green is a lot brighter than this green. And this T-Rex still has the button on the top of its head for the chomping action. Now let's put this T-Rex on the right team. Let's keep going here. Let's grab this one next. Here is another very natural colored T-Rex. Looks like it's a light gray color on the sides and dark brown on the top. I bet that this T-Rex would blend into rocks or a mountainside really well. Its body is fully posable and it has the button at the top of its head for the chomping action. And this T-Rex is gonna go over on the left team. I've got at least one more bright orange T-Rex figure. This figure is a little bit older. I think it might be from the Fallen Kingdom era. And like that super colossal figure in the back there, it has the bright orange body with the brown on top and it features the chomping button. Let's move it on over to the right team. Here's another crazy looking custom colored T-Rex. And this figure is actually quite old. I believe it's from the first Jurassic World movie. I believe that this figure used to be a tan color, actually just like this figure right here. These two figures are basically identical other than the coloring, of course. And they both got a button on the top of their back for a chomping action, although they don't work too well anymore. Now let's put them on opposing sides. The custom colored T-Rex is gonna go on the left team and the original tan T-Rex is gonna go on the right team. I've actually got one more T-Rex figure from that same era. This figure is basically the exact same size, although it has different coloring, and this is actually how it came too. So it has the dark green on the body, but it has some reflective gold along the top, and then this interesting design running along its neck and its side too. But coolest of all, it actually has some hidden spikes on its back and its head, so that when you press the chomping action, its spikes spring out too. Now what side should this T-Rex go on? Let's say, let's have it go on the right team. Coming up next, we've got a smaller T-Rex figure, and this is actually a model T-Rex that wasn't made by Hasbro or Mattel. It features some brown coloring with the black stripes, and since it's a model, you can't actually move any body parts. And let's put this figure on the left team. This next figure is another model T-Rex, and it has some kind of tiger-like coloring with the orange-yellow body and then those black stripes right on top of that. Let's put this T-Rex model on the right team. Got a few more model T-Rexes in here. This one is a dark green with black striping, and on this model T-Rex, you can actually open and close its jaws. Now let's put this one on the left team right there. And here is one more model T-Rex figure. This one is also brown and black, pretty similar to this T-Rex right here, but it is quite a bit smaller, and on this figure, you can actually open and close its jaw too. Now let's have it go on the right team. Next, let's check out some Lego T-Rex figures. This first one is brown and bright orange. It features a fully posable body and a huge jaw. And this one's gonna go to the left team. Now let's grab that other Lego T-Rex figure that I have in here. This one is a lot darker brown. You can check out the color difference between the two right there. But in shape and size, they're pretty similar. Although I will point out that this one has white teeth and the teeth on this figure are not colored at all. But nevertheless, let's set this one on the right team. And we're back to the figures made by Mattel. This is the Sound Surge Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. It's smaller than many of these other figures in here, but it has a button on the top of its back to activate the sound effects. Let's see if we have any more room for this T-Rex here. Now here's a wacky looking T-Rex figure. This is a Gujitsu Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it is actually licensed by Jurassic World, so this is an official figure. And the feature of this figure is that it's got a super squishy and super stretchy body. Check out this crazy stretching. 
All right, now I don't know that this figure is actually gonna stand up, but we're gonna place it on the left team here. I've also got a Funko Pop figure in here. This one is from Jurassic World Dominion. And I really like the all black eyes on this figure. Makes it look really scary. And we're gonna place this on the right team. Right here are some older figures. I believe once again from the first Jurassic World movie. This super bright one is actually a hybrid T-Rex. It is a hybrid with a Dilophosaurus. And it's got the bright neon orange and the reflective gold coloring on its body. So this one is pretty special. So let's Let's place that on the left team right here and check out this other one that is very similar size but not a hybrid T-Rex. So this is the original version and it's got a little bit of battle damage right on the side. And let's place this right in front of the hybrid T-Rex on the right team. And finally, I've got some tiny T-Rex figures in here. Let's check all of these out. Looks like there's a couple of Snap Squad figures in here. This first Snap Squad T-Rex is in the brown orange coloring with the dark brown on the top and let's place this on the right side and then there's also this dark green snap squad t-rex and i think this t-rex figure is actually pretty similar in color and design as this one way back there look at that they're basically the same green color now let's put this one on the left side here and for our final two we've got this crazy looking t-rex figure this one's qu also quite a bit old so the chomping action doesn't work anymore sadly but we'll go ahead and put it on the right team and then finally this miniature tyrannosaurus rex figure it is all brown although its eyes look to be painted black which is a nice detail and the underbelly is also painted a lighter tan color and let's finally put this t-rex on the left team and so here is our entire versus battle we've got the left team of t-rexes over here versus the right team which side do you think would win in a battle? Let me know in the comments below. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.